We'd like to hear from Vice Principal Mr. Blevins, our new high school principal. He also joined us on campus campus this year, and it's been wonderful to have him talk with us. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. When we did our last fundraiser, I just signed my letter of intent to join the team in Anor Academy. Now I'm finishing my first six months here, and I wanted to say something about what I've seen during those six months. To start with the obvious, Anor Academy is a small school, but what happens here is no small thing. One of the things I've been reminded of repeatedly since I've been here is that education is about so much more than academics. To be sure, Adore Academy has a quality academic program. Mashallah, last year our 8th graders took the ACT and, as 8th graders, scored within one point of Knox County School's 11th grade average. Our 8th graders also earned Algebra 1 credit in their math class and Biology 1 credit in their science class, meaning they left middle school with two high school credits already completed. It's not bad. But education is about more than academics. Education is also, and even more importantly, about character. It's not just about the mind, it's about the heart. The best of creation, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, in the body there is a piece of flesh. If it's sound, the whole body is sound. And if it's corrupt, the whole body is corrupt. Verily, it's the heart. What I've seen is that even as much as an or academy is working to provide an excellent academic education, the teachers and staff here are working even harder to educate and raise the character of our students. The teachers and staff here are working to keep the hearts of our children sound. Now you may be surprised to hear this, but sometimes our students misbehave. At Anor Academy, the language we use to talk about this is good choices and bad choices. And so sometimes our students make bad choices. And when this happens, we have an obligation to help them make better choices. The choices we try to help them make are the choices that are in line with what Allah has asked of us and what the best of creation, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, has modeled for us. So that's what we do at Anor Academy. Here, the kids hear the Adhan every day. They pray Dhuhr with their classmates. Kids in fourth and eighth grade attend Jum'ah with the community. They're spending time with the Qur'an each day, making dua and exchanging salams all day long. When they need a reminder, they're reminded about principles from the Quran and Sunnah that guide our actions and keep our hearts sound. We might be tempted to say that these are small things. We'd be wrong. Allah is Kareem, the most generous. And these are all acts designed to raise children in a way that pleases them. And anything done for His sake is no small thing. His reward for these things is no small thing. Now we know our children's need for quality academic and character instruction doesn't end in eighth grade. And so we're working hard to design a high school that will give our older students what they need, rigorous academic preparation for college and sound Islamic instruction for the preservation and cultivation of their hearts. Because at the end of the day, at the end of our lives, we won't be asked about our ACT score or how many credits we earned in high school. Law won't look at our academic transcript He'll look at our hearts. And what I've seen at Anor Academy is a school filled with people who are trying to keep the hearts of our children sound by creating a warm, loving, Islamic environment. And that's no small thing. Not for our kids and not in the eyes of our Lord. So please continue to help us create this special place in Knoxville for our kids and for their hearts. Please continue to help us as we work to meet their needs beyond eighth grade by giving them a high school that's a path to college that develops their minds and their hearts. The reward for it is no small thing. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.